Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good Alls Country Kitchen. Lexington, and we're at one of these old time places here called Ramsey's Diner. It was on my list, but Sam reached out to me last week, told me something that really put the hook in me on why we're here today. Sam, you want to go ahead and tell them what's going on with that? Well, this is uh, another one of those country style restaurants, but the main thing I got him for, they own their own pie company. And I promise you, you've never had pie like Ramsey's. This key lime pie I had the last time was absolutely the best I've ever had in my life. And I've been all over the south on the beaches and the islands. This is absolutely the best key lime pie in the country. Well, let me tell you a little bit what I know about this place. I've come here a couple times been here 34 years. I guess the last time I was here was about 20 years ago. But what I remember about this place is they are known for fried banana peppers. Not just little bitty rings of banana peppers, but big whole banana peppers, butterflied, breaded, deep fried. And that's one of the reasons why I was coming here to begin with. But then he put the hook in me with that key lime pie statement, the best. So anytime somebody claims it's the best, you know I got to check it out. All right, you might notice the new merch. It's got the original logo, but I added Louisville, Kentucky across the bottom, but here's the best part. Got home of the double snapping turtle. So, you know my patented double snapping turtle move. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you after the video at the end, stick around if you want one of these shirts, I wanna tell you how you can get one. And of course, I've got other announcements that I need to make you want to stick around for plus story time. I'm going to stay, save the stories for the end. All right, it's cold here. Sam's cold. I'm not cold. Fat people don't get cold. All right, I'm going to do a little walkthrough. They're already starting to get busy. It's uh, Friday lunch, so this place is very popular. This place actually used to be a gas station. I'm not sure if this is what it was originally built for. I think this building looks like late 1800s. So it might have been like a general store first and then gas station later once they uh, started building automobiles. All right, it looks like it was the Village Green General Store before it was a gas station. I got some fellas here that are kind of helping me through the history of this building. All right, well, I, these guys gave me permission going and showing they've been so helpful telling me the history of this place and making recommendations. I had to get a little cameo appearance of them in here. All right, I want I thank y'all fellas. Y'all been a big help. And here's, looks like a recent flood. I didn't realize they were next to a river. Yep, love all these old pictures. Old covered bridge. Anyway, you got a big main dining room, the old dining room. And then you go further back restrooms are back there but then they built on a separate building here recently but they have a heated glassed in uh, windows they can roll up in the summertime and it's kind of like an outdoor seating pretty cool and they give you that old-timey feeling they got uh, pickles and jams and merch you can uh, purchase in here. And Sam was telling y'all about those pies. So get a little look of what I'm gonna be, we are gonna be getting into at the end of dinner here. I don't know what that is, but it looks like some kind of homemade meringue. Looks good. All right, we're about ready to order some food. I did the big tour, got to talking to people out there. So Sam's building up an appetite. Let me give you a little rundown on Ramsey's. 
Ramsey's, like I say, is country style. They have at least 12 country style entries, 16 veggies or sides, 16 different sandwiches, bowls of chicken and dumplings, bowls of pinto beans, and the topping, 16 different pies on the menu. You caught me and uh, sold me at the chicken and dumplings there. I didn't even know they had that, so now you're going to really get me frustrated having to choose in between what I want to get. Right, I'm going to let uh, Sam start off the festivities here, and look at that. What you got there, Sam? Southern style catfish and fries. A little lemon. That's a nice looking fillet of catfish there. And How you, about I that you ordered rye it. bread? Yeah, and you you ordered it Southern style. What is Southern style? That's a seasoned batter that they do, like you would do with fish or something, or chicken. Okay. They also serve Cajun or blackened. All right, and you've got the old school crinkle cut fries, and they ain't stingy with those either. That's a half a plate full. All right, go ahead and give it a whirl. Tell me what you think. Here's my fried banana pepper while he's getting situated there. Look at these things. This ain't no little bitty pepper rings like I was saying. This is the entire banana pepper. Breaded. And I guess that's a ranch dressing. Guess what? Catch it. Yep, and you notice they have Heinz here. Made Sam happy. I know where to come. No red gold for Sam. Can't get enough of that ketchup there, can you? And what's with the pepper? You used to scream bloody murder when I put pepper in anything when I cooked for you back in the day. Little pepper. <laughs> Oh, he did the snapping turtle. The double snapping turtle. And you said you didn't know what that was. <laughs> I lied. Catfish for you. It's, good. it's fair. It's fair. fair. See, that's how old people do. They never, oh, oh. They, <laughs> they never give you a compliment because they're afraid that you'll stop trying. Mm. They always want you to uh, bring more, do better. And they don't want you to ever be content. Can you imagine him calling the national treasure old? Well, you know, the, the national treasure uh, is old. Older than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're you better gonna, eat that food. It's going to get cold. I know. But I've I got to show the national treasure. Being that we're uh, in Lexington, I thought it'd be appropriate to mention that one of my new sponsors is Peddler's Mall, which coincidentally just opened their 19th store here in Lexington. So now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. These look like big fillets of fish. They're so big and that batter. Uh, looks like it's got the cornmeal base. And it comes with that cocktail, like I was saying. I'll give it a try with the cocktail. Mm. Gotta make sure I stick the plate up for the hater that didn't like me put my plate up to the camera. Wonderful breading. Stays on there, doesn't break apart, fall off. Mm. How you like it here at Ramsey's, buddy? I'm loving it. 
Let me get this nice looking one here. Look at that. You know what? You could probably get a nice bun or rye bread. If you're a vegetarian, I would recommend you come here and eat this like you would a fish sandwich. You could probably even put some tartar sauce on that. Try it with the ranch. Mm. If you know where there's better fried banana peppers than here, I want to know about it. And I guarantee you, I'll come there and do a review because these are the best banana peppers I've ever had. I know y'all thought I was slipping. What brand is that? Texas Pete. Old Texas Pete always doing a pinch. You ever had it before? Mm -hmm. Stupid question. There isn't probably anything you haven't had when it comes to hot sauce. Nope. How about that, folks? How about that? I'm only, I'm not even halfway through. That's some good looking rye bread. Rye swirl. As I told you, Sam had me at dumplings. Got the bowl of dumplings. Steam still rolling off. Kale greens he was telling me about. I'm going to go ahead and sample those out before I accentuate them. Another winner I put you on. Oh, yeah. And then we're going old school with the pinto beans and corn sticks. Y'all don't know nothing about them corn sticks. They make them in a, a cast iron, got the rolls in it. And of course, chopped onion with those beans. All right, where's that pepper? My father had to have raw onion with beans. Green beans, pinto beans, northern beans. That's the only way to go. They all got raw onion. Mm. Those are good. Kind of reminds me of the chicken house we did a couple weeks ago. What, mm. those dumplings? Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Accentuate the greens and the beans. Those are awesome. One thing I like about kale because they have good texture. They never get soggy. Same thing with collard greens pretty much, but sometimes if you have mustard greens or turnip greens, they get a little on the soggy side. I like texture in my greens. Definitely cooked in pork seasoning. Now let me try the beans, old school. What are you shaking your head about? Because it's good. This is down home right here. Let me get one of them fries. That's a switch, isn't it? You eating my fries. Mmm. All right, just so you know, I don't want to offend the chef. There ain't enough left there for a church mouse. Plus, finished off Sam's fries.
Thank you. Now, on to the key lime pie. That's a nice looking slice there. Whipped cream on top. This better be as good as what Sam said it was. All that preaching. I never had anything like that. The national treasure steered me right again. Is that the best? It's the best I've had. The best I've had. It's unbelievable. How about that crust? Yep. That crust at the bottom is really good. Whipped cream's a nice little uh, add to it. Mm. I never had any. I've never had any pie like this. I can promise. You. How about that crust, boy? That's good. Mm. Never seen a guy scarf pie down like that. I guess he hadn't hung around with me as much as I thought he did. By the way, don't forget to stick around. I got a lot of information to give you afterwards, how to buy shirts, upcoming announcements, story time. So don't go away. Stay for the end. By the way, the name of their pie company is Missy's Pies. I'm taking a key lime home to my horse racing buddies. They can watch the races tomorrow and eat key lime. <laughs> Take out for this pie. Just for the pie? Yeah. And then the rest is on? Okay. I thought everything was great. And, of course, Sam steered me right again. You know, he's, what have we done, four reviews together? That's correct. Yeah, he's four for four. He always says, this is the best of this, that's the best of that. So far, he's spot on. Can't recommend this place enough. It's got the historical aesthetics, all that stuff. Mackenzie, my daughter, loves that word, aesthetics. But anyway, what do you got, Sam, for it? Well, I'm about through, I guess. It's just so, that pie is just so good. It's just hard to elaborate any more than it's the best. More information, if you want one of these shirts, you need to email me at verygoodall1966 at gmail.com. We'll exchange information. Uh, I use Venmo or you can mail me a personal check. They're $25 and depending on where you live, like California, it'd probably be like $8 shipping. Uh, if it's close to Kentucky, it'd be six dollars shipping. But when we when we discuss on email, I'll let you know how much the shipping is. Twenty five bucks. Like I said, price went up. I had to change the artwork. If you want to see that again, it's got the Louisville, Kentucky, and of course the home of the double snapping turtle. And this coming Wednesday, we're going to be set up at Substation Two for my three foot sub challenge. And Ryan and I are going to be there at five o'clock. We're going to be selling shirts, and the actual sub challenge starts at 6.30. So if you want to be on YouTube, come on out, meet us. We want to meet you all. You know, we love the comments and everything, but we'd love to be able to put a face to the comment to see who you are. All right, back in about 2001, Sam was kind of bored. He's retired and didn't have anything to do. I said, well, Sam, I said, why don't you come to work with me at Eastern High School? So the principal, Jim Sexton at that time, uh, God rest his soul, he just passed a couple years ago. I went to him, I said, I got a guy that'll run your ISAP, in-school suspension program, and sight unseen, he went in and hired Sam, gave him a job, and his uh, in-school suspension classroom that he had was right across the hall from assistant principal's office. And there was always a lot of action going on there. Well, one day, I was right outside, Sam, well, me and Sam were outside his room talking during the class change, and a big fight broke out. 
two big guys start fighting. Me and Sam jump in. We're rolling around the floor with these kids. This fight went on for like five minutes. I don't even think I had enough time to get a radio call off. So it was me and Sam battling these two kids. Grown men size kids, by the way. So by the time we got help and got everybody separated, I look over at Sam and his pants were ripped all the way from the zipper all the way around to the top of his pants. The crotch completely split out. So I took him down the basement to uh, Miss Pope's room, the home economics room, and Miss Pope made Sam take his pants off and stand in a closet while she, while she sewed his pants up. Now, if that ain't a funny story, True I don't know. True story. The National Treasure was split pants. And speaking of the National Treasure, I don't know if I mentioned a lot of you ladies are making comments oh. out there. The National Treasure is single. So if you're inquiring uh, as to whether or not he's available, yes, he is. All right. Speaking of Eastern High School. All right. So, of course, most of y'all know I was run over by a school bus a little over a year ago. Went through some dark times, I've told you. The one thing I want to let you know, this this takes me back to uh, an old football coach of mine, Dave Peak. Whenever he would question a kid's intestinal fortitude, Coach Peak would always say, son, you're either with me or you're against me. And that stuck with me my whole life. And that's the way I've always been. If I'm a friend of yours, you're a friend of mine, I'm loyal to you through the end. And I don't expect any less from somebody else. And there's one thing that has come clear to me since the last year and a half is the people that are with me. And Sam is one of those guys. Sam's been a friend for 40 years. He's loyal, been with me thick and thin, and that's what I appreciate about you. Well, thank you very much. It's always been a pleasure to be with you and to have your friendship. There you go. Also, I'm, doing, I'm leaving here this afternoon. I'm going back to Louisville, and a friend of mine, we're going on a Catholic Church fish fry tour tonight. I'm going to have a rolled oyster and a fish sandwich at, at all three of the different stops tonight. Don't forget the cold beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't have a rolled oyster without a draft beer with it. So anyway, I'm going to be uh, uploading that video on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. And don't forget about the sub challenge Wednesday, the 21st. Be there at 5 o'clock. Challenge is at 6.30. I know that was a lot of information to digest. But anyway, we loved everything. Had a great time with the National Treasure. I take on any woman that can sew. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't make him stand in a closet with nothing but his black socks on while you're sewing him. That's up. not true. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> Miss Pope, if you see this, I just want to thank you. She retired a long time ago. But anyway, Miss Pope was the salt of the earth. One last comment. An indication of how stable and great this restaurant is. The bartender's been here 14 years. Our waitress was here 12 and a half years, and the manager has been here 21 years. Have a great day. And y'all don't know nothing about this Ramsey's Diner. Mm -hmm.